Back with the Fox News alert. We were just telling you about this, and a new video has just come into the Fox News room of U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton meeting, as you can see right there, Russian President Vladimir Putin. Happened, uh, there he is shaking hands. Happened shortly ago in uh, Moscow. There you can see Ambassador Huntsman. They are meeting about a potential meeting between uh, our president and the president of Russia. You know, there's a few things on the table uh, now uh, that a lot of people are upset about with Russia. The reason why it's a G7, not a G8, they invaded Georgia, took Crimea, shot down a civilian plane, denied it, invaded Ukraine, tried to carve up that nation. World well, flew into Syria, didn't deconflict, and are co responsible for the killing of tens of thousands of people. Uh, until they can uh, own up to that, or at least explain that, it's going to be hard to see any type of traction between the two countries, especially coming out of the NATO summit. I'm very Interesting and very interested to see how this goes because Ambassador Bolton is not one to usually give an inch. All right, let's bring in Kellyanne Conway, counselor to the president. She is live at the White House this morning. Hey, Kellyanne, what's your reaction to this? Will we see a summit? Uh, perhaps. Obviously, Ambassador Bolton is there to discuss the state of U.S. Re Russia relations, but also to perhaps prepare for a prospective summit between the two leaders. Um, everything that you've said is important to put in the context of all the other actions this president has not been afraid to take. There have been uh, sanctions. We've expelled Russians from this country, Russian officials from this country. Obviously, not once but twice, this president has taken swift and decisive action against Assad in Syria, who is being propped up by Putin. But at the same time, this president made clear when he sat down with Putin last year that if there are big issues that our two countries can work on together, he is willing to entertain working together on mm -hmm. those issues. You saw him in Singapore. I know the media don't want to cover an historic summit that was just two short weeks ago anymore, uh, the success of that summit. But this is a president who again and again is willing to go where other presidents have refused to go and make good on the promise of peace, in this case, a denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, and the many different issues that perhaps the United States and Russia can tackle right. together.